Hey guys, back again with a new KSP video. Uh, I'm still sick, so I decided to continue my torturing of innocent Kerbals. Uh, here you can see me building another death spiral, excuse me, another fun spiral. That's right, that's a fun, fun wheel, spin wheel as you can see in the top. Uh, I wanted to test how much G Force a Kerbal, uh, particularly named Jebediah, uh, can take. So, as you can see, I'm currently creating the wheel here. This time I found a better method of doing it. Uh, you know, because the tools were given and I didn't use them correctly. Anyways, I'm about done with the wheel of uh, fun. Wheel of fun. Uh, put the rockets on and stuff, everything. Just need to put it on the rotor and test it out first, real quick. This time I did put the right motors on it. Alright, we got it on stage, let's fire those rockets and make it spin, let's see how stable it actually is this time. As you can see, it's quite, it's actually quite stable this time, um, mostly because it is symmetrical this time. And uh, yeah, I think I think this is uh, proving the concept. Now, uh, now let's see how we actually put on the Kerbal and test it out. Actually, before we do that, I do want to change the motors. I didn't feel like it was going fast enough, so I put them more on the outside to give it more momentum. Um, yeah, I don't know if the inside of this wheel will work, but we'll see. Right, so I've got to, um, to change the direction of the wheel, but we'll, we'll just test out the speed run like this. Yeah, man, it seems to be working perfect. Uh, I'm thinking maybe later on slap some wings on it, see if it can actually take off. Alright, so I fixed the crew cap module. Uh, <laughs> and the um, the depth, the fin wheel. Uh, I I put it upside down, but that's fine. I mean, Jebediah can uh, he, he needs some athletics. So let's see if we can actually uh, get him open here. As you can see, I I, I was quite <laughs> I kind of put the stairs on the wrong side, but you know, Jebediah Jebediah will manage. Jebediah will manage. And I made some small platforms he can land on once it climbs down. But as you can see, for some reason, the wheel's still a bit unstable. Uh, unstable. I don't know why. Uh, but, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll handle it. We'll manage it. Jeb, Jeb will manage it. Uh, let's just hope it does. Alright, so I've decided to keep Jeb on the stairs. Uh, just see how he will manage right now. But, you know, uh, in hindsight, it's kind of dumb. Because no way he's getting his back, uh, back pushed against something. I was just, I was just holding, testing his grip. And as you can see, I mean, it's, it's perfectly fine. Um, HR didn't find out in the end, so yeah, we're fine. We just we just gave him a small bonus of uh, a hot dog. That's it, really. Um, yeah, don't tell HR. And I mean, here you can see Jeff perfectly fine. You know, big smile on his face in front of the uh, the fun wheel, the, the fun spiral. Uh, I was take some pictures with him. Cause, uh, yeah, look at that. Doesn't that look fun? You would want to ride that, don't you? Yeah, Let, let's see how fast it goes actually. Let's, let's spin that thing up. Yeah, look at that. Wonderful. Just like a windmill. Just less wind, more rocket. Perfect. Nice picture, chap. Alright, let's move on. So, yeah, chap was having some troubles getting on the, uh, the fun wheel. Uh, I still didn't fix his crew cabin orientation. That's fine. Don't worry about that. Yeah, so I made I made a small uh, ramp for him to get on. It took some uh, figuring out, some test runs, but you know he's climbing the stairs. He'll be there in a second. Just just be patient. And uh, yeah, yeah, let's uh, let's spin that baby up like it was designed to. As you can see, there are, um, there are no safety features on the uh, the front spiral. Oh shit, Jeb. Fuck! And Jeb's back up. Don't worry about it. Anyways, as you can see, uh, Jeb's back up. Upstairs. Perfectly fine. He didn't fall off. Don't worry about it. HR still didn't see anything. And as long as HR didn't see anything, uh, nothing has happened. Oh shit, it doesn't exist on this world, so that's that's quite nice. Uh, yeah. So let, let's see how uh, how long he will last on the, on the fun spiral, on his G training. Let's... let's Let's call it that, yeah. His G Force training. Yeah, perfectly. Perfectly fine. I mean, to be fair, we wouldn't force Jeb to do anything. 
Oh. Right. Well, maybe we should give him something to hold on. Right, so we're back. I uh, I gave him some hand guards to uh, hold on to. Let's see. Uh, let's see how long it will last this time. Perfectly easy to get onto his spot. Yep, just like that. And there we go. Take off. Let's let's spin a bit. Oh man, it doesn't it look beautiful? Perfectly safe. Yeah, let's let's spin the puppy. Let's start slowly. Uh, let's not go full full uh, just now and turn him into pudding. Um, Cause yeah, then we have to uh, pay for his funeral. We don't want to do that. I mean, look at him. Look at him. He's looking so happy right now. Is that perfect? Yeah, he's enjoying this. He wants to do this. I'm actually surprised it's this table. Um, because we literally built it in like five minutes with some scrap laying down the side of the road. Don't mind that though. Um, yeah. So we're taking up some speed right now. Yeah. Perfect. Jebediah is going 60 meters an hour right now. I don't know how much that is in G force. Uh, maybe we should have, you know, put a uh, G force measure thing on the unit to actually know. How many, how many G's he's pulling, but I would just ask Jack how many he thinks he's pulling right now. I mean, look at him going, Jesus. I mean, there's not a Jesus on this world, but you know, my God. How is he still conscious? I mean, you're gonna give it to him. He's a, he has some endurance. Oh, wow. That's, uh, I mean, let's be honest, like, what's more exciting, the London Eye or uh, the Eye of Sauron? Yeah, Eye of Sauron, right? Definitely. Don't mind that the whole plan, oh, shit, uh, okay, back to the drawing board. Alright, so we're back, we uh, put on some brakes, we might might think they're rocket boosters, but no, that was definitely incorrect. These are aerial brakes. They, um, don't ask me how it works. Anyways, uh, we can see uh, Jeb, who's definitely alive. It's not his twin brother, this is Jeb, the original. Yep. Because nothing happened to Jebediah in the previous attempt. You just, uh, yeah, you just saw him, uh, saw him, uh, Pull a, uh, oh, how's the wizard called? Anyways, on to Jeb, who's the original. We're spooling up the uh, the fun wheel again to about his limits of 100 meters a second. Gonna take it carefully in case uh, something might happen, which never does, obviously. And then we engage the brake thrusters, uh, bre brakes, aerial brakes, and. Um, yeah, we, we just see how, how well that works and how, how well he's handling with the uh, sudden slowdown. So let's see, we're, we're almost there. Alright, just a few more meters a second. Bit more throttle. And I think it's about time to engage. Yeah, there we go. It's working wonderful. See all that braking power, not thruster power. Uh, don't ask me how, how that makes sense. Because I, oh, right. Right now we have the issue of not controlling the brakes. The brakes are braking too hard. The wheel is spinning back. Um, right. Well, let's see. Let's see how this ends up going. This guy, oh, oh, Jeb just. How did you get here? Well, I mean, <clears throat> don't mind the uh, the few in the back. Just, uh, just ignore that. Let's let's go to the next thing. 